Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Poor Destiny, where we are back in Fallout New Vegas. I know we are not in the DLC. We are back in the Mojave, and I apologize. I had so many issues keeping my game from crashing in that Dead Horses DLC, or I think that's what it's called. I don't remember now. Um, that I ended up spending an hour, a little over an hour, on Discord. So thank you again to Dragon007, a.k.a. Chuck Serena, for walking me through how to come get to where we needed to go, because I got super, super lost for about five hours in that game. I could not figure out how to finish it. So I appreciate your help. I brought you back here because we just, I was up here like exploring and we just noticed that there is a snow globe for test site. Limited edition Mojave Limerick snow globe. Yay. Are you going to automatically sell it like you usually do or not if I'm in here? I was just kind of seeing what the casino had to offer. And I was getting all the money out of all the uh, cash registers because it's not stealing. So I figured why not? I mean, it's not worth much of anything, but okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is. So let's go to the presidential suite real quick. And uh, where's Eddie? 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I gotta go upstairs, don't I? Okay, so, oh, I forgot. Victor? Hello, Victor. Where to, partner? I missed you. I need to go see Jane. Penthouse, please. Jane, I found your missing snow globe. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm not here for Mr. House. Um, I got a snow globe. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Thank you, Jane. Okay, Victor. Penthouse floor. Back home. It took me forever, y'all. I had 480 pounds um, on us when we left that DLC. Hey, Boone. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? No. But, I wanted to show you some of the things we got from there. We got the 45 auto pistol that has been modded twice. But there was things that we got as we were finishing up that DLC, which is a light shining in darkness. Like, special 45 gun. We got, um, the She's Embrace. We got Salt, of, salt Upon Wounds Power Fist. But it says HP minus 3 for 10 seconds. So, I'm thinking, like, you lose health using that. That's what it looks like to me, so I, I may or may not play with that. We have everything that we want right here. We also got Chalk's head headdress. I know words are hard. We got Daniel's hat and Daniel's outfit. We also got Josh's armor and uh, uh, Salt Upon Wounds' helmet. So, that was pretty neat. They gave us a bunch of goodies when we left the DLC. Why are there so many? Like, it is super dusty in here. Either that or it's very possessed with orbs. Like, it's so dusty. So much you're probably clean. Now, where the heck did Eddie go? I had him on follow. I know he goes off follow when you go to the... Pe oh, I added another one of these because this is like my crafted items and my coffee mugs. Um, I had a lot more than that, so I need to figure out where I put them. And this is like our components to craft. So we made a whole bunch of doctor bags and left them repair kits just so that they were on the ready. Did I leave them at the casino? Eddie? Boone, have you seen Eddie? This is, like, loaded up with stuff we need to go sell. You know what? We probably should take a few things that don't weigh too much that we could possibly... Oh, I could probably... Uh, sell... Maybe over at the Crimson Caravan. Uh, see, can any of those be duct taped together? Yep, that works for me. I don't know why that was not already done. I'm a slacker, apparently. And that's all on that. Oh, my recharging pistol and my plasma pistol can fix my compliance regulator. Interesting. Let's go ahead and look at... All I have is our laser, or our energy weapons on us. I took everything else out of our inventory. I don't feel like we need it. So, everything else looks pretty good in the way of, like, durability. Where is Eddie? Is he outside? Oh, he is outside the casino. Okay. High roller sweet. I guess instead of coming home, he went, uh, let's see, I need casino. I guess he went outside waiting for me. Casino oh, there you are. Floor. Come on, buddy. So, it was requested that we go visit the 188 and look under the bridge, which we are going to do in this episode. I'm just going to walk this way, because I really don't want to have to edit certain things out that y'all, that I don't want to get demonetized on a video Enjoy for. Enjoy your time on the biggest... I will for sure, but I wanted to go ahead and 
Oh yeah, we had this new quest to deal with the newcomers. We can go get that done. And then I also wanted to do the talk to... Yeah, this is the one for the king. I want to do that one for the king. And we have a bunch more we need to do, so we'll get that done. Let's go do someone to watch over me real quick. That's the wrong button, I know. Uh, world map. And it is right here. And then we're going to go to the... Is it the 188? Is that what it's called? I don't actually remember. I know where it is, though. It's right around the corner. But there's also something else we're going to do there. That's why Boone is not with us. He's not going to be gone for long, but... Are you guys just, like, sleeping here? Squatterville. Good morning, Squatterville. Why are you sleeping on a kid's playground? That's not creepy at all. What do you want? Uh, Car Crandon says you're not allowed to stay here. You'll have to go somewhere else. Oh, really? And how are you going to make us? Easy, I'm just going to kill you. I'd rather not have any trouble here. 50 caps, just keep yourself off the streets. I'm asking nicely. I only do that once. Let's just give him 50 caps. Sure, you got a deal. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. A pleasure is all mine. Take your friends with you. Oh, I guess that's all we needed. And there is Crandon right there. That was convenient. I don't know why you couldn't do that. That's pretty have simple. Have you taken care of those squatters? We sure have. I've dealt with them. That's good to hear. Can't ever be too careful with strangers around here. I mean, strangers could also be your best friend. Good work, work for those newcomers. I think you can handle more serious business with more serious rewards. There's a handful of greasers down in the sewers causing trouble. They ain't packing too much iron, but I'd like them dealt with all the same. I will deal with Glad it. Glad to hear it. Let me know when they're gone. I will, Crandon. But that's not right now. Deal with a band of troublemakers. Is there anybody else we can talk to? No. Oh, I almost stepped on his head. Feels bad. It's kind of sad they're just, like, sleeping on the ground. Okay. Before we do that, let us... I think it was, like... Did I open it yet? I don't remember. It was, like, somewhere around here, wasn't it? Uh, he's pumped, durable, aerotech, where is that? Vault 3, no, I'm looking for that trading station. Cassie's caravan, oh, we have to go deal with her too. I'm trying to see if she wants to sell. Okay, this is driving me crazy. I, I know I've seen it, I know it's not far. For whatever reason, I'm probably just going over it, huh? We don't have a quest for it, so I can't just like. Oh, I did want to go check out that um, Gunrunner's Arsenal. Where are you? Vault three. I know, this is totally thrilling, isn't it? Uh, oh my gosh. Where the heck? Camp Golf? No. What's the icon? What does the caravan look like? Okay, it looks like that. Oh, maybe that's only if we're accepted, I think, though. Alright, well, let's run over to the Crimson Caravan. Real quick. And then, I gotta figure out where that is. I don't remember. Are you ready to die? Oh, are you talking to me? You like the sight of your own blood? Oh, go away, you fiend. You like the sight of your own goo? I'll take that, that, that. Uh, that's not worth anything. I'll take that. And I don't, I don't want that. I'm trying to cut back. I mean, I could use it to repair stuff now that we have the jury rigging. I'll take the pre-war money. Jury rigging perk. Or jury rigging perk. Oh, let's go ahead and put our gun away. Don't want to walk up on him looking all aggressive. Where the heck was that? Was it I-88 or 188 trading post? Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Do you have any caps? Can do. I've been gone quite a while, so I just assumed you would. You can have that. And that. And that's probably all you're going to be able to afford. Anything I need from you? Not particularly. Mm, nothing's really just like jumping out at me all. 
I mean, I could get some more combat armor, but we have enough, so. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, great con suit armor. I think I've... I might have seen that and sold it to him. Because we did do that great con... Uh, quest recently. Yeah, I know I sold that to you. I got, you have nothing I need, my dude. Like, not even a little bit. Yeah, nothing at all. I mean, I could buy the magazines, but we can make them now, so I really don't see a point. Laters, tater. Okay, so we need to find... You know what? I want to go... I want to go do that gun runners thing. I want to open that up. No, I don't want to get sidetracked. We're trying to do one thing right now. Okay, I know we were at Novak, and they were talking about it, right? Or was it when we were at... This is the problem with having everything open with that explorer perk, is that now it's impossible to find things. I thought it was, like, right around here. Let me find it, and I will bring y'all back. Finally, we found it. I haven't even opened it up yet. I thought I had, um, but apparently I have not. So we're going to go to Boulder City, and then we will walk from there. It's not that far. To... And we're going... Oh, Cazador Nest. That does not sound like fun at all. Oh, Skelly. Hello, Skeleton. So I believe... Oh, you know what I need to do is remove this marker that I put on earlier to get myself home. Uh, remove it. I'll just help with the confusion of why it's there. Let's see. We've been here, haven't we? Boulder City train station. Oh. Oh, it's a rad scorpion. Okay. I guess we have not been here. Some Nicola, cola some sarsaparilla, anything else of interest in here? Uh, some bottle caps. Nada. We got a desk, more bottle caps, average lock, nothing to us. Let's see, impurities. So it's either an I or an A, Guardian. Probably an I or a U. Let's do Thriving. Four. So let's take some things out. Or remove some duds. See if we can replenish our... Tries also. Isn't that one? Or that one? No. Apparently it's not. There is one. Another one, another one, another one. Right there. Another dud. Oh yay, allowance is replenished. So let's do becoming. Residing. Yay. Log on admin, password. Disengage luck. Now is that the lock to this, I'm assuming? Oh, no, no. Just kidding. So, oh, it's the lock to this. So I'll walk right by it. So we got some pre-war money, some bottle caps, and some stim packs. That's not bad. Nothing in those. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else of interest in here. All right, let's carry on. It was this way, right? Right over yonder. I'm actually going to go ahead and reload. Sure, you don't need them. And I will go ahead and take that off your hands. Anything else over here? Is there just like random guns and ammo chilling? Walking simulator for the win. Just kidding. BRB. We made it. Yay. I was told to go under the overpass. Can I talk to you? Ezekiel, hello. The gun runners ought to help the followers by donating some of that firepower they've got. Yeah. 
Got that talk. is one battered eyebot. It's a miracle it's still functioning. I know. Eddie's amazing, isn't he? I hear you've done some good things for the followers. We have. We have done good things for everybody. So go under the underpass and talk to the boy. Oh, I have to wake him up. I hate waking people up. Can I talk to you? Hello. Arms merchant? You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. I'm a courier. Something like that. Are you an NCR soldier? Hell yes, ma'am. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. What was your rank? Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass tried to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. Why'd you leave? I didn't. <clears throat> My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Ooh. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. How did you end up selling weapons? Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CEO is treating them right and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can. Go on. So I hooked up with a couple other vets. <clears throat> bribed a gun runner. Now we're supplying grunts, mercs, and anybody else on our side. Thank you. We don't make much, but at least we're saving lives. And Sierra doesn't have the caps to outfit their troops? Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is going to bankrupt the NCR unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Show me what you have for sale. Sure, no problem. Okay. Oh, she's got good caps. We can go home and uh, have some fun selling things. Sniper rifle, carbon fiber parts. I do have a sniper rifle. Ooh, decreases weight by five. I am going to get that, and I'm going to also get the suppressor. I probably should wait until, um... Oh, that'll offset it right there. We have our barter up a little bit more, but I'm not really worried about it. We have plenty of money. Um... Let's see... I don't think I have anything on me to sell. Except for that one gun, which offsets it enough that I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Got a couple mods for our sniper rifle now, which we probably won't use until we get our guns up. And I'm assuming you are the boy under the Hello. bridge. Hello, the forecaster. Sorry to wake you Hello, up. Hello, ma'am. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents, kid? Are you here all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Um, I'd like to see what you have to sell. Oh. I don't sell things, ma'am. I sell thoughts. Okay, you sell thoughts? I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine, and how do you take it off? I'm assuming it's what's on his head. This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. You don't sell that junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. That's sad. I'll pay 100 caps to hear your thought. I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. No, I don't want to do that. Great. <clears throat> what do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. Ooh. What do you want? Um, let's do here first. I need to take off my medicine. Okay. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl, smiling sad, brown robe, named Veronica. Half here, wraps her and her heart up like a pack, in the pack, 
A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little, but it's a sharp pain. I'm sorry. Uh, let's do it again. Sure. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? We haven't met Veronica yet, but I do know that she's above us. Uh, let's do everywhere. Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam, at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast, a rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. Okay, I'm sorry. One more time. Sure. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? I think I'm going to play more of the game and then come back and see if he has other thoughts. Me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. I mean, you're making Your good money. Your face does a thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you, but they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt, but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack, and a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast, rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking, most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. No, that was... Interesting. Any more thoughts I can pay for? Sorry, ma'am. All that thinking has made my head hurt. I don't think I'll be doing any thinking for a long time. I mean, you just made a good amount of money, so... Fair enough. Thank you, forecaster. So, let's go up top, see what they have for sale. I need to start bringing stuff to them, too, to sell. I want to start clearing out our for sale uh, box we have at the Lucky 38. So, when I see somebody that has caps, we go ahead and... Uh, Sell. So where is it over here? Trader, trader. And then probably next episode we're gonna go open up the gun runners arsenal. So I'm super curious. Nelson Hello. will serve as an example. Thank we'll you. bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. You're just gonna drink that with a lid on? Okay, you know what you do. Welcome you. to the 188 slop and shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> Talking while he's drinking. <laughs> I'd like to see what you have for sale, Mr. Ventriloquist. Okay, you don't have much money, and that's not a big deal. I'm not here for money. Okay, so you just sell, like, food and water. Okay. Uh, who are you? Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. Let's see, why'd you leave Prim? Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till the prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. Oh, yeah. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. Um, why is business so good here? When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home. After the strips drained them of caps, we get them coming and going. Coming, the suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the strip. And going, the same folks. But now they're losers who'll trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss Prim. Uh, fair enough. I don't really need anything repaired, so... The awkward goodbye. Hello. Hey. Oh, you're Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Everywhere. Um, the grave, I'm not entirely sure. Good Springs. Uh, we'll say the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. I mean, technically well, we did. welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way, but I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves, but somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? I do indeed. And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway, but that's a whole other story. 
So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, sure, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? They're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. I think we're going to use our intelligence. They're enemies of the NCR. If you know where they are, you should turn them in. They've got the right idea. Let's use our intelligence. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Everywhere. Um, let's see. Hoover Dam the Strip. Just kind of drift from place to place. Yeah, I like that Just one. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. Well, thank you. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. We got a new friend. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Uh, where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Wouldn't you be the Sisterhood of Steel? I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had some training, as long as you're honest with me from now on. Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Well, <laughs> thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Uh, sure, but first... What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. I have no idea what you're talking about there. Tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Really? What are your goals? I want... a dress. Really a dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal. You want a nice dress. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I mean, yeah, I get I that. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. I am a jeans and t-shirt girl. Mm -mm, tell me something else. Can I make it up? Um, how can I best use your skills? I like punching things. But sometimes shooting things just has to do. Anything else? Yeah. I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are for novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a Brotherhood trick or two. Well, Eddie's a workshop, too, so... Uh, let's see, could you help me craft Step something? Step into my office. So it's pretty much just, like, the same thing as Eddie. Good stuff, okay. And I think, well, hold on, do you... My favorite subject. Who was this Father Elijah to you? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagine a grandfather to be. Did you follow him from Cali? It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders, somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow, watch him at work. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the council, taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb, but he was mad because we'd lost his power. What would use it for? He didn't even care. How is that different from how any other elder would have reacted? They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. 
That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Ever try to talk sensitive to him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... <sighs> if he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. What did you learn from him? Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. Um, let's see, how is that different? What did you learn from him? I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. That's sad. Were you close? Yeah. I miss him. Tell me something else about like you. Like what? Um, that's probably it. Ever been in love? Ever been nosy? I was. Once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. What happened? She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. You didn't go with her? No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. Or I don't know where decision. she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's get going. Let's. Alright, so, from here... I think I want to go do that questicle for the king. Um, and then we'll deal with the band of troublemakers. Oh, no, not that one. This one. So let's go... Did I really not open that up? Uh, I guess we can go... Ah, I know. I can't even look. We'll go that way. And then we'll just shoot down to south in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Uh, down there. Later, y'all.